Well, that's right, Danielle. We are quiet right now on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. In fact, majority of the morning here going to be trouble free for us. We're talking about afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms firing up along a cold front. Those showers and storms could contain some heavy downpours, much like what we saw yesterday. Those torrential rainfalls could lead to some street flooding, and there's even a small risk of some flash flooding. We're going to be keeping an eye on that for you through the time frame here of the afternoon and evening. If you're planning on getting in a few hours at the beach, this morning looks fine for that near Arkansas. We do have that uh, hazy sun, still a little bit of fog just offshore that's starting to lift and burn off, and the temperature on the rise already into the middle 70s. In Providence, Westerly, Taunton's at 74, Smithfield now at 72. You combine that with that high humidity, and that's allowed for that fog to form this morning. You can saw it over at Block Island, but that low cloud cover uh, starting to lift now, and that trend will continue here as we move into the afternoon. A dew point, one of the ways we measure just how comfortable the air is right now, 71. We're going to stay in the oppressive category right into the early evening hours before that dew point drops. Once our cold front comes through tomorrow morning by 5 a.m., dew points in the middle 50s will be much more comfortable for you. Outside right now, it's pretty stifling. That high humidity combining with the partial sunshine in this approaching cold front to allow for some showers and thunderstorms to pop up today. Future cast going to show the timing of that here. And notice we're dry through the morning. This is 10 o'clock, partly sunny skies. And then we're watching for the afternoon. The sky's changing, showers and storms developing yellows, uh, oranges indicating heavier downpours and notice a lot of this activity featured over Rhode Island and eastern Connecticut and chances a little lower out towards Cape and Islands, but even a few showers and storms possible there too. Once the sun sets, the front moves offshore threat of showers will diminish pretty quickly as the evening goes on and by tomorrow morning we are back to sunshine. High temperatures today, middle 80s, Central Falls and Lincoln combine that with the high humidity and we're talking about a heat index around 90 today. 85 for the air temperature in Barrington Garden City at 86. The coast with the southerly wind taking over in the afternoon will be at around 80 degrees. Charlestown and in westerly northwest Rhode Island I have you in the middle 80s. Steamy showers and thunderstorms expected this afternoon. The risk is a little lower, probably later in the day for Fall River and New Bedford, but mid 80s. Moderate risk for rip currents at the beach today. Save some time about 15 to 20 minutes. Light and variable winds. That's that L and V turning to the south. 5 to 10 knots on the bay. High tide coming up here. 8 o'clock this morning. In the seven day future cast, after today's steamy weather, we are back to dry and comfortable conditions Thursday, Friday. Humidity is back on the rise this weekend. Don't be disappointed if you see that seven day future cast. We're not talking about washouts this weekend, mostly dry, warm and partly sunny. Just have to maybe dodge an isolated thunderstorm popping up each afternoon as that humidity climbs back up.